welcome to mrwirk.com. I'm your host Navjot Singh. In today's tutorial, we're going to look at what is URL query string. It's, ex it's example and explanation. We're also going to cover what are parameters or URL parameters. And like, we're going to also discuss the key difference between a query string and a parameter. So let's start with what is a query string. So a query string in simple language is any anything that you see in the URL after a question mark. So this was this is the normal URL and as soon as I add the question mark after this whatever I type is a query string. So I could basically say anything. So I'm going to say geo equals Ireland. And so now we have a query string. Uh, we're passing a query string to this uh, URL. And yeah, basically that's a query string. Let's go a little bit more into it. A query string um, can have parameters. So here I said this is query string but what are the parameters then so the parameter would actually be the geo equals Ireland whereas a parameter would then have a key and a value so in this case the key would be geo and the value will be Ireland and a query string could be one parameter or a combination of parameters more than one parameter so the other one would be so whenever we add more parameters we use the ampersand sign to distinguish or separate them so the other one could be we get we can say um, something okay county so my county is Dublin perfect so this is the second uh, parameter I'm passing in the query string we can go in and see that uh, and let me show you a more a real world example so here's an article that I have written on this I've provided good detailed uh, examples and things I'll leave a link to this in the article uh, sorry in the video description below which you can go and actually read um, so let's go and see the example. So here uh, I describe things. So let me zoom in a bit. Okay, so Firefox works a little bit differently than how Chrome would work. Yeah, let's go back to Chrome. I like Chrome a little bit better. So in this case, um, I have an example here. I'll go to the the browser and show you the example itself as well so if we go and see here so we have a Google URL so this is a Google search uh, so this is a piece from the Google search page where I search for Mr. Work which is my website and you can see there's a query string passed to this URL which has some information in it so uh, if we break it down, the query string has three parameters, parameter 1, 2, and 3. <clears throat> so the parameter 1 contains information about the client, which is the browser. Uh, when I took the screenshot, this was Firefox. Um, and then the channel, and there's some identifier that they may be, the Google may be using to do some tracking on their site. And then Q equals Mr. Rick. So this is the actual query or the search uh, that user wants the result for and that helps the uh, Google to res uh, return a result for that. Let's go back into Firefox because this example is for Firefox. So actually this actually exists here. <laughs> Let's go back and say Mr. Rick again. I'm going to search for that and Google is going to append all those uh, in there and then Google basically returns a result for that. So that's one um, example of this. 
you could actually see this on my website so if we basically go on the home page um, before we cover this let's actually see the Google example in Chrome and you'll see some of the parameters are actually different and if we go back in Chrome in Chrome um, it handles it a little bit differently it's again google.com slash search and then it provides a query string which is quite long in this case and then it provides one two three four and about about five parameters so it's got the query and then oq so which is also equivalent to query here and then AQS which is Chrome so it just provides like what version and what Chrome is being used and source ID again Chrome and it tells IE UTF 8 so it provides all that information in so you can see so query string is basically used to provide um, some information back to the server uh, and so according to that um, the website can return your result and it's also used in for website searches so if I go in here and search uh, for uh, for something let me say so I see Dom here so let me search for Dom and you'll see how the string uh, how the URL changes and you can see it's mrwick.com slash and then the question mark s equals Dom and then it re returns all the results where you could see the keyword DOM so there's always there's all these DOMs so domain has DOM in it as well so all that showed up uh, so instead of doing that we could just go in and we can say s equals um, let's search for react and here we go um, we get all the articles uh, that are that have a keyword react in them so it could be so the query string can be used in many ways uh, another beautiful way of using it is so I'm using it for one of my solutions so so I wrote down a piece of JavaScript I'll quickly show you the code um, so I wrote down a piece of uh, JavaScript which basically what it does is it takes uh, the query string and based upon the geo and the size value it uh, returns an ad so every time you um, refresh it so as per how many ads are in the rotation it will give you a different ad every time so this is one classic example of using query string so I'm so you know you can actually make decisions based upon query strings so if I was to say 300 by 600 it will give me a ad for that particular size and if I was to say 728 by 90 that would give me a ad for a different size so so that's basically like how this is helping so all of this is a query string this much is a parameter this ampersand size assign allows us to separate the parameters and then this is the geo in this case is the key of the parameter and UK will be the value of the parameter uh, actually I also have a video tutorial and uh, article written that helps you to go further and get the URL parameter values from the query string in JavaScript so that provides a good step-by-step -step. I'll leave a link uh, to this video and the article uh, so you can actually go in and see the solution here I'll provide you a quick peek at it how it's done so uh, in this case uh, as we see here so we have a geo and a size and we see how we actually uh, do that so we do that using the dot search params dot get method which is provided by the browsers the modern browsers these days so I'm gonna leave a link to this you'll find the code uh, to this and 
very detailed explanation, a video to this as well. So I really hope uh, this uh, video helped you. Um, and if I miss anything uh, that you would like me to cover, please leave a comment below. Uh, thanks for watching and I always appreciate uh, user feedback. Um, and if the video helps, again, please uh, subscribe to the channel uh, for showing your support. Thank you so much.